Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I did a thing. I did a thing. I got my drums in my new shed recording studio. Super excited. Not finished yet. Lights hanging down. Some sheetrock still in my patched. Uh, a bunch of stuff kind of going on there. But um, I just had my daughter test the drums out. And from outside, um, still loud. Not horrible. Not nearly what it was when I was in the garage. That was like playing outside on the street. Uh, I would say, I mean, indoors? <whistles> indoors, like 82%. Random number, 82% uh, reduction in noise. Um, it's barely audible. And nothing, It the holes aren't patched up yet. I mean, it's not even, man, there's still so many gaps. The door is just a piece of wood with a blanket in front of it. So once I get, once I get uh, everything done, man, it's going to be awesome. Put some... Towels or blankets on the wall, some foam. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, I need to sound treat it because just uh, the sound right now in such a tight space is deafening playing without ear protection. So I won't be doing that. And then, uh, yeah, I just wanted to record this because it's awesome. So, yeah, man. I'm uh, going to stop it. I'm going to show you my drum set. Hey, what's up, people? I'm just uh, here showing you my drum set, my new space. It's amazing. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. So uh, I'll run through my gear. Why not? That's what every other YouTube guy does, right? I got, uh, all right, starting from left to right. Go left to right. We'll do cymbals and drums. Uh, left to right, I got my HHX click hats 14 inch good solid quality uh you got the raw bell shoulder and the bow is uh you know whatever that is i don't know tech stuff whatever bro got my little stack i got a, a dave weckle six inch hhx um mini splash and then i think it's a double ax uh, eight inch splash under that Sounds decent for short little stuff Up top. I got me a double AX uh, explosion crash 16 inch. I like that one. It's a decent sound uh, You know, I mean AAX explosion series they're just awesome. I actually have a Zildjian symbol up here I got an 18 inch uh, Zildjian A Custom Medium Crash? I can't remember. Thin Crash, maybe. Um, that snuck in there. I'm a Sabian guy, but it's got a good sound, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. I uh, just got this maybe, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago. Uh, Sabian, uh, honestly, I don't... Oh, wait. Oh, it's a double AX Chinese. Shiny, 18 inches. 18 inch on the Sabian... Double AX Chinese symbol. I like that. I have a medium. Uh, Sabian's. Uh, how big is that thing? Uh, I think it's 18 inches. Um, it's got. I mean, that one. The one that I have in my bag is a medium. This is. Uh, uh, I'm going to say the weight on this is way. Th I mean, it's pliable. So the weight is much less. Um, I kind of like it. Nice, bright sound. Um, this thing cost me in an arm and a leg. I usually try to buy symbols uh, from like like eBay and you know I, try, I mean symbols dude if you take care of symbols you can keep symbols forever so I try to get used symbols because there's just no reason to buy new unless you're rich go ahead shoot if you got money do it but anyway I don't so this one I actually did buy because um, I love the HHX Evolution Ozone Crash 18 inches. This thing is awesome. It's it's like perfect for man everything accents. You could ride on this crash, uh, and then you know when you don't feel like the extremeness of that trashy garbage. You got 
Man, it's a nice middle ground. I would even say it's probably actually more, 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 more China, more garbage sound to it, but it's in there. There's brightness in it. I like it. Uh, on this side, I got a, uh, what is that? 17 inch double AX explosion crash. This one's a little darker and I keep it to the right, um, for when I'm coming off the toms. I enjoy that sound. Um, now going right to left, uh, my drum set is a Tama uh, Rockstar DX, which, you know, listen, hey, which do I wish I had some kind of DW set or, you know, Pearl, I don't know, Maple Masters, Custom Classic, whatever. Sure I do. But I will say this, the Tama Rockstar DX is a Japanese made kit. It was made in the Japanese factories from, I wanna say from my research, between 80s and early 90s. And dude, these kits are awesome. If you get the right heads on them, which I'm gonna be honest, I have Remo heads on them right now. I don't like them. I'm gonna go back to Evans. I thought I'd like the Remo stuff. And uh, I don't know, maybe just cause, I don't know, right? Remo, Aquarian, Maybe not even Aquarian. I think Aquarian's even more of a user-specific kind of head. But, I mean, Remo and Evans. Like, how can you go wrong? The G2 heads. I'm just going back to those. They sound probably the best. That what I need. If I... You know what? I will I will say this. I do like Remo's um, coded heads. Their Emperors are... When I want to play some, like, more mellow music, uh, I'll take out two of the toms. And I'll play with a four piece and that's the that's the shiznit right there. Anyway, alright, I'm rambling. Um, I got an 18 inch floor tom right here. Always wanted an 18 inch floor tom. Now I got one and I love it. Thing booms. It they're not tuned properly. They're it sounds like crap right now. Uh, 16 inch floor tom. I have a 12 inch and a 10 inch uh rack tom and actually what i've been doing so check this out uh, let me bring it around this way so with the rack toms i just got this the other day um, i actually bought a stand so for the longest time i had been putting my toms on the mount in the bass drum right so what i've been doing now is actually hooking my cymbals up i got my my china and uh the Zildjian on that just kind of puts it within arm's reach. And I like not having a ton of hardware, not that I play out or anything. Um, but I used to, but it's more, um, I don't know what the word is. It's easier, man. I play the way I play double bass is like as if I had a double bass, uh, kit, but I don't I have a double bass pedal. So I actually offset the bass drum a little diagonal to the right with the snare directly in center between my lap my toms right above me uh i like the ride there i know guys man that's another just preference kind of thing you can put the ride wherever you want um but i like my ride there and then uh you know toms crashes everything feels pretty good right now everything flows very well and uh, i mean i'm happy with it man it's pretty cool but i got the uh so this pedal man i found this on facebook marketplace yeah facebook marketplace woo -woo. but i found a tama um, it's an iron cobra but it's only a single chain drive pedal um you know what does it matter no you know why because it was like 40 bucks so i don't care and then here's my little diy that i'm gonna do my tama hi-hat stand um what I got going on here is uh, I had a three-legged hi-hat stand that I hated because that third leg always gets in the way. Or at least one of the legs do. Like, that would always, like, hit the bass pedal and the cam. And I'd never be able to, uh, it would always, you know, just mess up your flow. So, what I did was I chopped it off. But then what's the problem, right? You got these two wires under here that hold the hi-hat stand up uh unlike a two leg hi-hat stand that you could buy from the store man those things have a lot of support there's like you know they're they're bulky and 
beefy. This thing is cheap. So what did I do? 15 bucks. Went to Home Depot, grabbed some Loctite, uh, the clay stuff that you mix. It turns into like a hard putty. And I Loctited that, man. And it's holding up pretty good. I'm actually going to put a little bit more. I'm going to probably go the length of that bar and then connect it. Um, connect it in the middle so the length of the bar connected in the middle and then with a little dremel uh, excuse me sorry about that with a dremel um i took off this leg and actually i forgot to do this piece so it's kind of just been hanging out there poking me in the foot uh, but man that's it you know and i love it got the pro mark sticks nylon tips I actually got wood tips too, and I have some hot rods, just different types of music. But these are the uh, Promark American Hickory TX5BN. Um, you know what? They're good sticks. I was trying to go with Vic Firth because I felt Vic Firth, like everybody goes with Vic Firth. Vic Firth is Vic Firth. You got to go with Vic Firth. But honestly, you don't. I like Promark better. I like the weight, the balance. Um, it just feel better in my hand. That's what I started playing with. I started playing with Promarks. And I will continue with Promark. Uh, hardware, all garbage. Like, that's some random uh, stand I found. I mean, all these things are like Frankenstein pieces. I've, like, jerry-rigged everything. Um, you know, Gibraltar uh, clamps and cymbal clamps and everything. But... I, I, you know what? Best little purchase right here. Like, I don't know, 20 bucks for like... No, nah, maybe not 20 bucks. I don't know how much they were. But uh, these little Tama quick release things. Awesome. Super easy. Super convenient. <sighs> and you know what? I'm loving this. I am loving it. Woo -woo! So anyway, people, um, good talking to you. Thanks for listening to me ramble for 10 minutes about my drums. Um, still more to do. Still going to be, you know, working at it little by little, but it's getting done, and I'm excited. So I'm going to put out Master Puppets, drum cover. That's coming soon. Look out for that. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> You don't have to. Um, you know, be cool if you did, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Um, yeah. Let's do drum stuff. That's going to be my time. I got to work on it. Let's do drum stuff. All right. Good night, everyone.